Coming up in this episode, a look at some of the things I've been selling on eBay and that you could sell too. Hello everybody, welcome once again to M-Cubed. I am Brian, the merchant of the Motley Mix. Thank you very much for dropping by. How is everybody doing at this end of October? 23rd of October today as I'm taping this. And just to let you know a little bit of a warning, you're going to hear maybe some things in the background because it's really, really windy. So the wind is howling outside through the windows and the doors. But that wind has brought in 85 degree temperatures Fahrenheit. <laughs> It's like 28 degrees Celsius right now on the 23rd of October in Canada. It's crazy. So everybody's outside and mowing their lawn for the last time this year and all that kind of stuff. So you might hear some background noise in this episode just to give you a bit of a warning. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. October has been so far so good. This is the 23rd. I've sold 30 items as of today. So a little bit ahead of pace for my one per day. Not quite as heavy as September was. But I'm happy and some really good sales, which I'll show you in a second. It's been been really good as far as the quality and the average sale price of a lot of the items this month so far. So I'm hoping that carries on as things carry on. So let's get right into it, shall we? I'm gonna move over and I got a secret that I'm gonna push off that wall instead of pushing off my desk. There we go. No banging of the microphone today. How about that? All right, so let's start off in random order. Just about 10 things or so that I've sold over the past 23 days, the kind of things that if you've got them or you see them for sale at auctions or yard sales or whatever, maybe pick them up because they do sell and they sell fairly well for me as well. Starting off with these beautiful Edinburgh Crystal Sherry glasses. They were tiny. They were only like two inches tall, but there was four of them and they were signed on the bottom, made in Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, they went for $28 on a best offer plus $10 towards the shipping. I got those at auction for $5 about two months ago. So Quick turnaround and pretty good return on my investment for that one, for sure. Up next, I uh, got into the trading card scene a little bit about two months ago. My son and I both started picking up a few boxes of trading cards at the auctions. Uh, the auction house I used to work at had a lot, a lot of them come in. So I picked up uh, one specific box and it had inside of it an entire set of the NBA Dream Team from 1991-92 Olympics. So I was able to sell the entire NBA Dream Team set of trading cards for $38.50 on a best offer with another $13 for shipping. It was a Canadian buyer, so I bumped up the shipping a little bit, which reminds me I have to bump it up even more now because Canada Post and the U.S. Postal Service have both raised their rates for the holiday season. So I need to change my settings now. So just reminder to myself to do that but yeah that was a great turnaround on the dream team i think i paid five dollars for the entire box so i've still got the box of nba hoops cards without the dream team set in it now but that dream team set got me four times my money back so that was a great great sale this was an interesting one here it was a set of limoges coronet demitasse cups with three saucers so there was an extra saucer involved didn't put it in the picture but I put in the title or in the description at least. But this set sold for $42 about two hours after I listed it. Sort of tells me that maybe I underpriced it a little bit, but from what I could see from the comps in researching the Limoges Coronet items, that price was pretty much in line with how things were selling. So $42 within two hours of being listed, I had that in my possession for a grand total of about five days. So that was from the most recent local auction, not at the one that I used to work at, but at the other one that I went to a few weeks ago. So really, really great, great sale on that one. And that paid for pretty much half of everything I bought at that entire auction, just that one sale. So it was great. This was beautiful. I've had this from a lot of things that I got from my uh, contact in Toronto, my ceramic and glass contact in Toronto that I've been working with earlier in the spring back at the beginning of the shutdown from March till about June. And then things sort of disappeared between the two of us. I, I'm not sure what he's doing right now. I've been busy with my stuff, doing the auction house and that kind of thing. But it was a beautiful, fain, I'm going to try and say this the right way, Fayensere, the Tulin is the name. Uh, it was a vase from Belgium. Uh, it was gorgeous with the drip glaze and the teal blue coloring. I went for $35 on a best offer with uh, $13 towards the shipping. It was a beautiful, beautiful vase. It had sat for a little bit, maybe about five, six months, 
but a uh, good offer, and so I decided to take it. And that's what a lot of these are, best offers that I've decided to take because things have been sitting for a while. So I'm not going to take lowball, lowball offers, but when somebody hands me a half-decent offer, I'll take it. And that's exactly what I did with this vase from Belgium. It was beautiful, so good, good sale on that one. Something I don't usually get into, but I picked up a couple of them. I think I may have shown you this on one of my recent haul videos, too. It was a Catherine Grunewald uh, limited edition signed print. She does the cats and human character type portraits, uh, pictures. Well, one of them sold for $38 plus $13 towards the shipping. I paid a grand total of $5 for both of them at auction. So great return on that. And I still have the other one for sale, which is still getting a lot of attention and a lot of views. So I may have to just cancel that and relist it to get it back in the top of the algorithm and hopefully sell that one too. But $38, great return for a framed uh, print by Catherine Grunewald. This was nice as well. It was a, oh, this is from the first huge glass and ceramic haul that I had uh, back when I picked up all that stuff for like $23 or something like that. It was the beautiful, tall, cobalt blue hobnail compote with the lid. If you remember, I was very psyched about that because I knew it was worth a little bit of money and the price came down a little bit over time. It's been in the store for about four months now. So I brought the price down a little bit and I did end up taking a best offer of $49 uh, with another $13 towards the shipping. I'll take $49 for something that cost me maybe a dollar twenty-five overall. So that was a great return on that one. And uh, the kind of glass and ceramic wear that I look for right now when I'm doing the online auctions and if I do hit any of the actual live auctions. But it was a great, great, beautiful hobnail piece and uh, glad it went for a good price. Speaking of a good price, up next is a beautiful set of six Val St. Lambert signed Zodiac coasters. These are crystal coasters. There's, of course, 12 of them in the entire set, but I had six of them. I uh, picked them up at auction for about $6, and they sold for $42 plus $13 towards the shipping. It was uh, very beautiful, but they're well well liked and people snap them up pretty quick on eBay from what I could tell from my research. And so when I was able to get them at auction, I think I only paid, like I said, $6 for all six of them. Um, that was a great, great sale. $42 for that one. So good to see them go. And that was again quick. That one only lasted two to three weeks in the store max. So a lot of things turning around quickly because I'm really concentrating on picking up quality items right now. So it's good. All right, well, you can see them on the shelf behind me here. Let me see if I can point them. See those beautiful blue French opaline perfume bottles and the compote that's in the middle? Well, they're going to get packed up tomorrow because they finally sold. I've had those for quite a while in the store. I say quite a while for me. Some people quite a while is a year or two. This is about six to nine months maybe I've had them, uh, but they've been decorating my shelf right behind me here for the last six to eight months or so, and they sold today for $75 US plus $30 towards the shipping. I bumped the shipping on that one because I'm going to give lots of room in the box and lots of padding, so there's going to be a much bigger box, which is probably going to be oversized in order to fit those three pieces in them, and so I decided to bump up the shipping to $30, but $75 for those, again, I spent $6 at auction. For all three of them combined. This was an interesting sale and it was another quick one. Three hours maybe. It was an Alpine car stereo system and I've had it for a while. Had it at my son's girlfriend's father's place getting tested. I didn't have the capability of testing the stereo out and there's an equalizer that came with it. I got both pieces for five dollars at auction. We tested them out he, the gentleman trusted them for me and the equalizer works perfectly well. So it's listed right now for $90 in the eBay store. And this stereo system sold for $50 on a best offer. I had put a $75 price tag on it, I think, but I had to sell it as is because the front display panel didn't work. But a lot of people have these Alpine stereo systems in their vehicles and they need them for parts. So I sold it as is four parts, no warranty, no returns. Yes, I know if they do an INAD, it's going to get returned, but 
I don't think it's going to get returned because it's, it looks like it's somebody who knew what they were looking for because it was the only one for sale when I listed it. A bunch of them had sold in the last 90 days, and this was the only one for sale other than somebody asking like $190 for a working one. So good sale though, $50 for something that cost me, what, $2.50? So I'll take it. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, and as I say, that's the kind of thing that's happening in the last little bit. The numbers have been really good. The average sales price for of the 30 items I've sold, probably 15 or 20 have sold for well over 30 to $35 profit. So it's been a very good, good month that way. All right, last but not least, I have to show you this one because I talk about them all the time. I sold one of the Mickey Mouse plushes. This one was the Sensi Mickey Mouse that has the, I think it has the baby's room pouch in the back, which makes it smell like a baby's room, basically baby powder and a little bit of lavender mixed in. But I sold Mickey for $19 plus $10 towards the shipping. And then I also picked up a couple of small little um, squish mellows, I think they're called. And I picked them up for a dollar each and they sell for about 20 to $25 for the pair of them. So that's that's in the store right now. So I keep going with the plushes. They sell. It's that time of year, especially if we get really, really good ones or especially new with tags this time of year, pick them up. And if you can sell them for a good price, people are going to buy stuffed animals that have new with tags because it looks like a brand new item for a Christmas present. So keep that in mind as you're out hunting in the coming weeks. So that's the detailed 10 items that I've sold in the past eh, 20 days or so. Sorry, what is today? 23. 23 days since I spoke to you last about my sales items. Uh, but there's also been a few other things. I've sold some blue crystal sherry glasses, which are really nice. I've sold some bubble bottom shot glasses, which were cute. Uh, I sold a men's corset back brace. I picked that up on the table at the live auction again three weeks ago or so, four weeks ago now. And it was probably a dollar cost to me. I sold that one for a good money. I think it was 20 bucks or something like that. And um, here's one for you. Don't ever give up on cracked figurines. I sold a cracked Royal Dalton figurine for $17, which was just thrown into a box when I picked up a table lot about a month ago. You wouldn't normally think you could sell it, but it was cracked on the back. I mean, it was a bad crack, but it was cracked on the back. But if someone's not a technically a collector and just likes the figurine for the way it looks and how it would look on their shelf, maybe, it was a gorgeous piece. When you were looking at this figurine from the front, it was a gorgeous piece. And actually, I remember because I laughed. The name is Karen. So Karen was cracked. But um, yeah, I, who, who knew that cracked Royal Dalton figurines sell? So that one got shipped today. So it's uh, on its way. And I, I was pleasantly surprised. Even I even looked online and was surprised to see that cracked ones sold. But then I looked at mine and said, yeah, you know what? It may be somebody to buy it just for the look of it. If they're not a collector. And sure enough, they did. $17 that I wouldn't have made if I hadn't bothered to look it up and give it a shot. So there you go. So that's the kind of thing that I am selling right now on eBay. If anything caught your eye there and it's something you may have or you may want to sell, well then hit the like button if you would down below so that other people looking for this kind of stuff are notified by the YouTube algorithm. And of course, I invite you to join along on all of these Canadian eBay reseller journey. If you hit the subscribe button down below, then hit the bell to be notified every time a new episode is uploaded. There, that's that business out of the way. I remembered this time. Anyhow, I wish you all the best, everybody. I am going to just keep on keeping on. I'm listing every day, five to 10 items every day. It's starting to pay off. It's really paying off when you are consistently listing. And so I'm just going to keep it on. I am Try and do the best I can here in the fourth quarter. So far, so good. Good start. Much better than last year's fourth quarter. Of course, I do have about two and a half times as many items in my store, but it's still, um, ratio-wise, a much better start to the fourth quarter for me than it was last year. So I'm happy. I'm going to keep on going. And I have to go because it is right now about one hour from another auction in my local area that I'm going to go ahead to and see what I can see. Maybe pick something up. It's not really the kind of things that I usually sell. It is actually a misdirected freight auction, but there may be some things in that I can sell. I'll check them out and let you know if I get some. Anyhow, take care, everybody. 
Wear your masks if you can when you're out there thrifting. It's the least we can do because I want to see you right here very soon for another episode of M Cubed. Bye for now, everybody. Cheers. Oh,